What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the worldwide September 15 player of the week selection. So these players obviously are available for 100 coins if you want to spin for them. And we have a couple of fairly decent players on it. Are they going to be you know end game level kind of squad players i don't know like starting 11 it's hard to know because these guys as usual do not have any player levels to go up so uh they are what you see here is what you get basically uh they're the finalized versions of the card and they are the best versions of the card as you've trained them up again you can train these guys you can buy these guys for standard gp on the standard gp marketplace the transfer marketplace um and get them for free gp and then train them up as good if or if not better uh for some instances but some of the cards here are very interesting i think this week um because of the a form and i think that you know it is so it is so in depth um when you take a, or in depth it is so like important when you look at the a form especially when you've got a team littered with guys on a form because they're up more often than not because they do get a boost to their stats i will be doing a video on that quite soon but we are going to start with Barry Ashili who is a bit of a beast here, um, a very, very good player, as I said, there's no player levels here, this guy's got standard form, he's a really good player, A form, 20 years of age, 83 jumping, 84 physical contact, 84 tackling, his defensive awareness is quite low, but to be honest with you, I think the sweet spot for the defensive awareness is probably around like 85, um, to, to benefit from just being an absolute... I mean, overpowered demon. That's the way the gameplay is at the moment. I mean, there's no point denying it. Um, you you know, you have to fill your team with really, really good defenders because most of the defenders in the game now are able to defend automatically. The AI does it for you, which is a pity. But, you know, you still need to have the stats there to back it up, you know. And you can see that if you go in and you actually sim a couple of games in the AI mode, uh, which you can do and get a free player here if you check out my other tutorial on that. Next up, we have Pedro Gon. Goncalves, Goncalves, yeah, Goncalves, um, so this guy has got massive calves, no, I'm messing, he is a beast of a player, well, everyone's a beast in my eyes, I know some people say that, but this guy has got some beastly stats, let's, he does have some really good stats, he's got a wavering form, so this guy is going to be really, really, really good at getting up his form and getting that boost to his stats, he's also got some nice player skills, and he's got a nice balance there, of speed acceleration and kicking power for a cmf that you want to be able to do a couple of like long range shots he is going to be fairly decent he also has defensive engagement 86 balance 86 stamina 87 so not bad he's got passing he's got power he's got pace um his defensive awareness kind of lets him down i think for an actual cmf but yeah he's, he's not the worst player on this next up we've got beto who is a very tall center forward he has got unwavering form as well so with the leicester pack which was uh, up monday all those players apart from one or two were on a form uh, or all those players were on bad form and they had standard uh form as well standard kind of there but this guy has got unwavering and he also has super sub and fighting spirit so again this guy could be yeah a, a bit of a legend when you bring him in he's got 88 physical contact 83 offensive awareness 83 finishing and 85 acceleration and 87 speed he has that super sub as well if you were to bring him on uh you know in the last 20 minutes he could be very very good for you next up we've got real madrid's rodrigo um who's starting to flourish at madrid at the moment in the last season or two very good player i mean he's your standard kind of um very stereotypical kind of winger you know what i mean he's got uh standard form here and he has got a nice lot of, of uh, player skills. He does have super sub as well, which is a running team on these player of the weeks, it seems. He's got nice acceleration, nice dribbling, nice pace, nice everything, really, apart from his offensive awareness, which is a bit of a letdown. And he can play left wing or right wing equally effectively. His balance is quite nice as well. Would like to have seen a little bit of a boost on that car, maybe to bring him up to 94 for his pace. Uh, next up, we've got Paul, who plays for Atletico Madrid. And all these players as well, let's have team... Uh, play style proficiency in the 90s so uh he has got captaincy and fighting spirit double touch soul control loads of different ones there a load of different ai playing styles as well he's able to kind of link in with any team shape formation whatever way you want to put it 
very good dribbler very good tight possession very good low pass nice pace nice speed everything's pretty decent there for a cmf and i will take a look at his standard card as well as because he is a monster his standard edition of the card uh we have caramona up who is only a 19 year old right back this guy could be a bit meta i think he could be absolutely uh very very good uh, as a right back he does have standard form but that a rating there this week with the live update is going to you know it's not going to really matter too much it'll be next week or that when his live rating goes down 89 acceleration 71 defensive awareness and then all the rest of the stats there that you see are high 70s none in the 80s which is a bit of a worry i would like to have seen his defensive awareness maybe like 75 to make him a little bit more uh complete but being on the a form he could be a little bit op this week while he is on that a form but i still think there's a lot of better options out there lacroix obviously plays for wolfsburg here as well 88 speed 90 jumping he's a big unit as well 86 heading he does have standard form and he does have a lot of the good player skills blocker area superiority interception man marking and heading so again if you're looking for a center back and you want to or you get him on your free spin which again as i said check out my tutorial on how to get one of these players 100 for free it just takes about half an hour uh we have got gapco up next who is playing for psv there was rumors that he was going to manchester united i think and there was rumors he was going to a couple of clubs but obviously it did not come to fruition this guy looks to be really really good as well unwavering form you can see there he's got long range curler long, long range shooting dipping shot but he's also got true passing and pinpoint crossing so if i was playing him i'd play him as kind of a defensively minded left midfielder with an engine he's got 83 stamina his standard edition card is quite decent as well but he's got a nice pace about him he's got a nice um movement style to him i actually got him on my other account this morning and he is very very decent in the one game i did play and i've simmed another match i think handanovic has been up around one of the best keepers in the game like pretty much since the game came out and this card here is a 93 overall card 86 parrying 87 reflexes and 88 awareness that's all you really need for a goalkeeper on a form he's not going to let you down he is fairly tall as well so again he's just a very kind of like regular goalkeeper you can train up goalkeepers to have better stats in him for about 50 60 even 100 000. it's it's not a big problem now Tadic obviously we would have seen him score against Liverpool the other night or no he didn't score against Liverpool but he is the IX captain apologies apologies for everyone uh, giving out about my knowledge of European football. Ball control, 89, 86 pass, 86 lofted pass. And then he's also got some nice free kick ability as well. Unwavering form, captaincy, heel trick, first time shot, long range curler and long range shooting. Way to pass, true passing, pinpoint crossing. Very decent. If you're going to be playing him as a right mid, uh, I would definitely play him there. That is probably his favorite position because he's got a left foot uh, tendency as well. That's his favorite foot, his strong foot. But yeah, very solid player, I would say. Um, he's not going to have enough pace to be a winger, in my opinion. And last but not least, we have Lewandowski. Now, a lot of people are talking about this guy, this card, this specific card, because he does have super sub and unwavering form. I have two editions of Lewandowski as it is. Uh, so I don't know, you know, do I actually want this guy? But super subs are OP, lads. They're OP in the last 25 minutes of the game, especially um, maybe the last 30 minutes. So if you bring on, if you're, you know, 1-0 down or whatever, and you bring on a super sub or two, it does have a big input in impact on your on your squad and on your actual team uh and the stats that Lewandowski has here he's going to be scoring for fun if you are a very kind of throwback um kind of like player of Pez games or eFootball now as it's known you are going to want to have kind of like a ying to his yang up front so you want a small mobile zippy kind of versatile striker such as you know um let me see like Romario or someone like that um or uh rafael leao who seems to be the meta player at the moment and then you have to have somebody that he can play off you know so Lewandowski is going to be a monster 93 finishing 90 offensive awareness he's got 85 kicking power 84 jumping physical contact is good his acceleration is quite poor but if you are playing him up top and you're just going to be lamping the ball into him um especially if you bring him on for corners and stuff as a super sub you know late in the game i think you definitely he's going to be an unbelievable backup this week because of that a form so that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip this week. Let me know your favorite players and let me know if you're disappointed with the players. Uh, I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to check out my tutorial of how to get one of these players for free. Peace.